Hey everyone, and welcome to another live challenger commentary from a skill-capped expert. This guide comes from our website, skillcap.com, where we have over 500 smurf commentaries by the top players and coaches, teaching you exactly how to escape the rank that you're stuck in. There's 14 brand new commentaries added each week, and a site-exclusive feature where our challenger experts will answer any and all questions that you have. All of this and so much more can be unlocked at our website, skillcap.com, so click the link in the description below, head to skillcap.com, and get the rank you've always wanted. Hello everyone and welcome to another Smurf commentary. This game I'm playing Pike in, um, in actually relatively high rank here. I'm playing Pike support this game, I'm filling in for Kybet because there was no support who was able to play uh, Pike uh, very comfortably, and I won trick the champion last season, so I'm pretty good mechanically. Mmm... I'll explain some stuff in a second. Just gonna go for cheese hook right here. Already working out perfectly. Nice. So that's something I always do on Pike level one right now. Now all I just want to do is put a ward and reset, please. Just wanna go base here. I'm just gonna base. Okay. So what I wanna do level one is uh, generally, d depending on what side I am on, I invade on the other side. Do the same thing on blue side, but with the other side of the river, so right here. And this works in relatively high rank only, usually because in lower ranks people don't cover correctly. But often people stand in this bush, can get a cheese hook in at the end, at the, at the start. So yeah. Um, all right, now not a lot of time playing Pike against uh, with Wissermere against Karma Ezreal. So we have a very heavy all in lane right here. Our win condition is to hit a hook and then find an all in onto Karma. If I don't find that, then Samira will be staffed out a little bit, being pushed in. And uh, that's a bit of a problem. So generally here, gonna try to wait a little bit in the early game, not to be poked down too much, unless I find a hook level one. Also switch for the sweeper because like, like that's why I put a ward here. Next time I level three gank on mid lane, and I uh, want to see some of the early game pathing potentially if I can. Oh, I trolled her there. That was an accident. And I want to have a sweep up for these bushes. I thought she was gonna kill her, but that's fine. So gotta just be careful with Rexai now. Rexai might cheese gank us. Rexai could be ganking us level three from Raptors. I can't really do anything here. If I dash forward, Rexai is there. We just die. Rexai shouldn't really be here yet, actually. We we don't have a ward because she wasted it. You really have an ADC to ward, and that's enough early because you don't get the push. I'm not gonna die for this level one. Because I'm scared of Rek'Sai, otherwise I would maybe look for a hook. But yeah, it's really just about level 1. If you find a hook on Pike against these ranged champions, you can actually get pressure early. I'm gonna walk into River here to make sure that we spot Rek'Sai if she tries to go behind us. But if she doesn't, then we're super fine. I'm pretty sure Rek'Sai is past, past to mid here, or the top side. No mantra now. I'm gonna walk into the bush. You can always see if they have vision on you with the passive. It doesn't heal you if you don't get spotted. So I know they have no ward in this bush. That's why I'm not using my sweeper for this. I know they don't have any idea where I am. Now I'm gonna ping that they use their summoners. I don't think they use Ezreal Flash, but um, Morgana should move for this first before the scuttle. Rek'Sai is mid. I'm gonna head towards the river here because the wave is pushing to us. We should be fine. I'm gonna pretend. Never oh, mind. They're level three now. Just looking for my level 3. I want to really fight here, but my Morgana needs to come. I need, I'm, I'm pretending to run away right now. I'm pretending to go into the river. I need to get my level 3 here, please. Hit this minion, please. Please get me level 3. Yeah, she's kind of trolling. She should help me push this. Now we're going to have to push the next wave as well. All right, it's really it's really hard for me to have a very high mechanical gameplay here and then also to comment at some situations so bear with me but in the end what we're looking to do is try to find an all-in we knew Rek'Sai path the top so we're fine um doing that we're fine trying to play aggressive the moment that Rek'Sai doesn't gank us at 240 when i was hovering in the river here i know that she has to go top side because you can't just wait here forever level three she must have entered the top side uh, Samira is doing some really aggressive calls here, which I don't really like. Trying to bait me to say that, it's really bad. 
as has no reason to go into this bush alone here. But whatever. Okay, now I come from base. I know that I don't immediately have to go bot, most likely. If I do, then I will go there. I'm looking bot the entire time now. And then I'm pathing towards mid always here. Yeah, I'm always going to look to go towards mid. It's a really weird play. Almost worked, actually. And now I'm around mid lane. They don't need me on bot right now. They might. I'm going to go mid here. I'm too late for that. I can help them with Akali. Akali used everything here. Perfect. Really, really good for the Talon. Getting a lead in this matchup is incredibly important. I play Talon myself, so I know that. Um, one thing to point out right there is I dash forward, use my dash as a gap closer, only because I know I won't have to dash out, because it's a 1v2 scenario. Otherwise, I would never do that unless I go... Like, I would get into melee range by going for W. W into melee range, and then Q, and I can always dash out. That's kind of how you want to be doing it. Really important that you don't mess that up on Pike, because if you use your E, your escape which is your, uh, as, a, as a gap closer, then you only have your W and you can't really use your W to escape very well. It's not a very good escape ability. So ideally, what you want to do always is W into the melee range and then charge your Q and then see how they're moving. I have a lot of experience, so I kind of have an idea on how they're going to dodge. And it's very easy to hit regardless because I'm in melee range. And then, uh, and then I can E out or E after them depending on if I hit the hook or what's going on. Should win this. Samira should just be able to one me through this honestly. I'm just gonna block the Ezreal Q here if I can, but she doesn't. She keeps walking in, so I can't. But I think we still win this in a second. Mm, I think we lose now. I, I didn't think she's that flash. Damn, Samira's playing that really awkwardly. I, I get the hook and she just keeps walking in forward. She she didn't have to, but I think she wins this now. That's really good. Oh, okay, never mind. Ezreal smashed it. Okay. Now, that's that's fine though, my town got a lead, my Samira is uh, behind now, so that's kind of rough, but I want to talk about item builds for a second. One thing about Pike is when you look at the matchup at the start and kind of how it plays out, you decide what you build in the early game. So if you want to leave the lane, for example, because the enemy team is playing like Morgana Caitlyn and you can't really kill them, you can't do anything to them and you don't get help by your jungler or say even more uh, extreme is like Ezreal Braum or, or Senna Tamkenj or... Uh, Lucian Braum, something that you just can't kill because your champion just gets countered in the fight. That's not necessarily a sign that you can't win as Pike. That's a sign that you can't win lane as Pike. You can still win the game. Actually, against Tom Kench and Braum, you're actually not that bad because you can take over the map. So against those champions, I would have went boots early. But because they have Karma, champion that is really squishy and very immobile, I want the damage so that we can potentially actually kill her. Alright. Ah, uh, she's gonna... Try to kill me here, but should be fine out of range. Pretty big kill because Ezreal loses the wave. And a lot of gold on me, which is good in this early stages. Early game, gold is really important for Pike. Just gonna go um, reset here most likely. You're gonna see kind of how it goes. Rexa is not top, so I'm gonna be chilling here for a sec. I think she might be bot lane, so I need to... Oh, okay, they're both bot lane. It's unwinnable then. Damn, I didn't think Akali was here too. That's crazy, because we just did, did a, bot, uh, a top lane play. They both moved, even though they thought Samira was alone. Tragedy. But my ult got, got off, which means we got three kills worth of gold on the Karma, and then we, we died, but it's not that bad. Okay, so now... Now it kind of depends what I want to be doing. Honestly, I think Mobis aren't that bad this game. Kind of always gotta decide if Mobis are worth it, because if I'm not gonna be roaming a lot, Mobis are just a waste of gold and a waste of stats. But since I got a lot of gold going Mobis here and just looking to constantly help everywhere because I think they're camping bot lane pretty hard right now. Or like they're playing a lot for bot lane. At least, uh, to be honest, they're not playing that much for bot lane. It's more like a feeling that we won't win bot lane because my Samira is not ahead. And even if they don't camp, we don't have a guarantee that we win. So going for damage isn't necessarily going to change that. They're going to die bot now and, and do anything about it. I feel like I'm just going to let her die here because if I go bot, what am I going to do? Want to be somewhere else because I know my bot lane is gonna die. If I'm there and Akali kills our mid laner right there and we're 4v, 4v2 on the bot side of the map, but that's not gonna change anything. So instead, I'm gonna go kill the mid laner and go top here because my jungle is top side. I'm gonna try to help out here. Should be possible. Got this jump out, that's really important. I think Mamagana should be able to get this now with her ult. 
That's what I was looking for, really. But she's playing it really awkwardly. You just use her ult now. Okay, that's good. That's that's really worth. We have uh, Harold as well here. But I'm just gonna go reset. It's not worth for me to stay. Actually, I'm gonna stay here just because I need the Warhammer. That's the only reason I'm gonna share gold here. Usually, taking gold from Yelena's is really bad, even though you're playing Pike. Don't chaos on this champion. Don't take playthings from your team. Uh, the ultimate is what generates gold, which allows you to be as strong as other champions. So you rely on getting gold, but your ultimate evens that out. Gold is not bad on Pike, but taking it from Yelena just means that you're gonna have to carry harder, so that's not gonna help. Oh! She wins. Okay, huge. Massive. Okay, that's really good. Alright, so there I stay because I know that I need a little bit of gold for my Warhammer and I don't want to leave base with 700 gold. That's the only reason I stayed. Alright, now walking back towards mid again, looking for a play here. Uh, I don't want to force here because I don't know. I just want to make sure that he doesn't die for this. You see, I just saved him potentially. Uh, I, I wanted that minion, whatever. I shouldn't do that. Uh, I'm just I'm just hovering here. I don't want to force because Karma could be here. Uh, she's going to respawn and also I know that we're not going to win 2v2 against Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai could be here as well. Rek'Sai is really fat. So we got to be really careful with that. She's getting she's getting all in again. I'm getting all in. Damn. Yeah, we shouldn't have fought there. I don't know why he does that. See, he, he didn't know what I knew and I should have just let him die. It's a really bad play by him. But we get the kill. It's good. But you see, one thing really important, you are playing an assassin, but you still can't do stuff by yourself. That's really important to know about Pike. You want to still assess who's strong in my team, like you do on other supports, and try to force picks around them, try to make plays happen around them when you know that this is a good time. Right there, I knew it's a bad time, and I left, and then my talent didn't know it's a bad time, so I shouldn't have died there, shouldn't have let myself get baited there. I gave a small shot down to the Rex as well, which is pretty bad. Now I'm just going to go back to bot. My mid laner is not there, so nothing to do here, and I want to be looking to... Maybe save her. Damn, that was a pretty bad, though, to be honest. That was sad. It's flash as well. I get my Q up in a second. Can look for Karma here. Ah, I got the kill. What a disaster. What a disaster. I shouldn't have got that. Okay. Flash my ult there. That's sad. And that those max range hooks, you see, they're really hard to hit. He, she was fast. She moved, like, in, a, in an irrational way. So... It's hard to hit that hook and it's fine. You're not relying on hitting those hooks to, to carry on Pike. You're supposed to get yourself in a position where it's easy to land hooks and then to land those easy hooks. That one was easy, for example, because she was visible and she was standing on the spot. I know Rek'Sai is dead here, so I'm gonna look to go for Ezreal. I'm at least gonna zone him a bit. Ooh, this is a bit greedy. Damn, if I knew she was gonna do that, I could've maybe set up for her better. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with Samira. When I played Pike, Samira wasn't out yet, so... Definitely could have done a bit more there. We could look for something here, but Seth is... Set, set got a lot of gold. He was not that strong earlier, so... I think he's gonna get his Mythic on this reset. So forcing right now... Be a pretty bad thing, because he's gonna... Yeah, he has a lot of gold to spend. Wanna pay attention to that support. And now, uh, objective coming up, Drake. Unfortunately, we are really late on this one, and we don't have TP on our set. We don't want to lose every Drake, but mm, I, I don't. I'm not actually sure who outscales this game. Both team scaling is kind of bad. Morgana's pretty good into their comp, and pretty good with me, but they have a lot of damage for Samira as well. So I'm just gonna walk towards walk towards Drake and still put Vision. Maybe we can get Prow somewhere. Gotta be really careful with Rexai. Yeah, you see that. Uh, you you don't want to clear those wards if you're not sure that you're safe. Just want to be careful in that situation. And putting vision around the objective here, helping Mama gonna clear. Watch out both, she's gonna get picked. Gonna have to help this guy. Ah, she, the Dark Harvest got the kill. That's a waste of my ult, I shouldn't risk that, I guess. But it's okay. And it's obvious that when, when you try to push out these lanes, and I'm, I'm giving pressure to my mid laner, that my ADC is gonna get ganked, and the play is gonna happen there. So if someone else is there with Rek'Sai, there's no way Samira's gonna win that. I'm surprised that Samira won that anyways. Oh, my jungler didn't want to smite, so we lost the drake that I set up. I'm triggered. That's okay. And now, like every assassin, I have my spike in base, so I want to look for a reset really soon. I'm gonna put one ward, because I'm a support still. I'm gonna put my ward before I reset. Every time you recall as a support, you get free gold. Right? Wards used to cost 75 gold. Every time you base and you refill your wards, you get gold. So right now, 225 gold. Maybe not quite. That literally but uh, I get I get a lot of gold here okay for resetting so I want to make sure I use all my wards before I base 
That way you always have something to do. You know, I knew my town was dead. I knew there was an objective, so I used that time to reset. I know my Samira is overextended. She should reset. If she doesn't reset, she's in thing and it's way too deep. I can't help her. So instead I go to, to my set right here and try to save him from the jacks. Should be good here. He has no jump. Maybe he has flash. If he gets, if he gets the thing up. Okay, I got the kill again. Disaster. It's okay. He flashed there. I flashed with him. That's how you want to use the claw to guarantee your E, but it's really risky to use that if you're not sure that... Ah, he's, he's dead, I think. Actually, he could have got out, maybe. I'm gonna be a bit careful here, because she does a lot of damage. She's gonna try to turn, and she tries to turn on Morgana. Really fed, so as Pike, you gotta be careful from those uh, CC assassins, like Kiana, Rek'Sai, or just generally CC champions. Really, really rough. Burst champions. But yeah, I got a pick there. Just, you see, I'm trying to make things happen around my teammates actively, but only when I know that we're in a good position when we have the numbers advantage. I want to look for a fight here, but this is, oh, this is a bit awkward. Never mind. I don't have my claw right now. It's coming up, though. Uh, but Ezreal is a very hard target for Pike, especially with the new Sundara builds. Very, very tanky, so got to be a lot more careful in those scenarios. Damn, I want this ward now. I guess I shouldn't be here yet. Karma's not contesting it. It's good. Getting some vision around mid lane right here so that we can hover the bot side and uh, make sure that no one comes from here. Rexa could be over here though, so I'm gonna ward there too. And ideally I'd like to get new wards, so I'm just gonna put my last ward into mid lane. You see I had a ward right here. You, you like to put these mid lane wards depending on what state of the game you're in, right? Right now we spot them right here, really good for us. They're looking for a flank, but we already know they're coming. So we can hover the top side. And those mid lane wards are really good. Uh, they, they show you how they rotate, right? Right now we lost vision here. And depending on what what state of the game we're in, if we're ahead, like right now, we can push the wave and they're going to rotate safely a lot more. I'm not going to help her here. That's a waste of time. So they're going to try to rotate in, in safe uh, ways, right? So they're going to try to usually walk like into the jungle right here, rotate, try to defend against us, walking into their jungle. So I'm trying to put vision a little bit deeper than normally. Uh, but uh, clearly it's not been a good ward since no one is there right now. We, we did lose pressure because I reset. Damn. Didn't have to flash there, but she doesn't know how, how powerful I am. I have the black shield right here. Ah, maybe I could have hit that. It's a bit scared. Could help top again, could help bots, but Talon is going a bit crazy. This Talon would not have been able to kill her right there if I didn't kill Akali for him two or three times. Hoplane has no flash. Keep that in mind. Maybe he page checked into me here to put a ward. I think he's gonna walk into here, guys. Come, 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 come. He's not gonna just AFK, right? There's no way. He's just, he thinks that we're rotating for him. He's not gonna think that we're staying once he's gone. He's gonna appear there again in a second. It's my call. Not sure if it's true, but we'll see. Ah, he had a ward there. His asset just ran out, okay. Drake is coming up. We need to contest this Drake, really important. One minute left, so I'm gonna go reset. Put a ward down because why not, but doesn't really I'm gonna replace it in a second then uh, let me talk about more item build stuff for Pike uh, two options for mythic claw or dust plate that's the only two you have claw is for assassinating people by yourself having extra burst you can do that when you have a lead and the enemies have a bunch of squishies that are vulnerable to that I like it against champions like Jax or Darius because it's really important that you lock them down and it's really hard to do without your claw even though you don't kill them with it with your teammates that is a very very good peel and then against Karma, it's very good. Against Rek'Sai, it's very good. Being able to one-shot those champions by myself is really, really high value. And Dustblade is for skirmishing for the CDR. You, you mainly go it because you can use your claw. And the CDR mythic is just better for Pike when you're trying to teamfight because you're trying to spam hooks to peel. Ah, she flashed it. Trying to get a hook off before I die here. Damn, I actually almost lift with the Senna W. But that was definitely carried by me. You see, they went for, for town here and I just walked into the tribe or setting up for a pick. That's some sneaky things that you can do when you're really comfortable on pike. And I also know my ult damage a lot from a lot of games. So definitely a champion that requires a lot of time to learn and get used to. But it's really, really fun to play. And really rewarding if you get good at it. I mean, you see my KDA right now, right? My ADC was kind of losing at one point. My mid lane was losing. My top lane was losing. And right now, me and Morgana, Morgana and I are the, are the two that really take over this game. Just 
the only reason we don't have a second drag now is because of Magana though, so I, I guess she made it up with that. And now Umbro Glaive, really really good item on Pike. you have a lot of access to, to a lot of vision spots that other supports couldn't enter because you have such a good escape, you're so mobile. So it's a very very good champion to get vision and clear vision with denying vision is super important when you're trying to get picks. I would ward topside now because Baron is up, but my team is very aggressive on the spot side there. I'd like them to get out, but I guess we don't have to if we don't want to. Damn. Ah, she's gonna kill her. Oh, never mind. I have cooldowns right now, so I'm staying back waiting for my opportunity. I see that he has some problems killing. Wow, I actually thought that flash goes over. Oh, I'm gonna split up here so that he can't chase both of us. Damn, that was really bad of me for sure. That I think, unless the uh, Talon can save me, but I don't think he can. I can't get anything off. Maybe he wins though. Oh, really? Okay, he kills him. That is a complete fiesta fight. These are the kind of fights you want to avoid when you're a mid laner. Um, or when you're in ADC or whatever, because what what did we really gain? We were ahead, and now we traded five for five. We got the inhibitor, which is not bad, but we don't actually like get much out of it. No objectives that we got, so this just slowed us down, right? We just gave a bunch of shutdowns, died randomly, and um, yeah, now we're dead. And even if one or two people survive that, it's not really good for me. I just have to help them because I'm a support. What do I do otherwise? Right? I could only place vision, but everybody's dead, so not gonna see anybody. So. As support there, you want to stay around, see if it's winnable. And to be honest, if I played that better, Ezra would have died right away and we could have killed Jax together and would have turned out okay. I didn't play that perfectly mechanically. All right, now, pressing tap. You see, I'm already walking towards Nash. Very standard, very, very um, intuitive for me because I did it so many times. I know that right now I have to push mid first because someone could be in here. Try to help my team to push in mid lane. Try to hover, right? I'm not really pushing. I'm not really showing myself either. I'm just chilling around and waiting for... Um, them to push because now you see Rek'Sai Karma they were there but they were waiting for a pick and now they're backing out because they know that Ezreal can never follow and we're four people right here. Something you can uh, do depending on how, how your team is playing, how your jungle is playing in lower ranks as well. Um, in, in silver sometimes it's a bit hard but as Pike you can ward regardless anyways so that's something that's really nice. You can still get vision off as Pike because you are very safe. So again now I put my vision down, my Samira resets which is a sign to me that there's no fight that's gonna happen or only a bad fight. So there's no reason for me to stay. Just gonna reset, sell my refillable, get some more damage. My next item will be, um, what's it called? Edge of Night. Edge of Night, very good against Rek'Sai specifically. So I can actually dash into her because she can't knock me up with my with my claw. And get a stun on her, which will be super high value once I get that. But usually I would go into some defense stats here. Hex Drinker, GA, Guardian, A Guardian Angel, GA, what am I saying? Death Stance, I meant. So I don't want to use my ult here because I don't need to. And it's 22 minutes in the game. Now we actually have a chance to take Baron. And I still have my ultimate, right? So it's a lot later in the game now than before. I don't want to waste my 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 tools, right? I don't need gold anymore. I already have my two items. I'm strong. Gonna have three soon. I'm sure getting more items is nice. But uh, winning the game is also nice. So I'd rather like try to make sure we have a higher chance winning this fight. Let's see if I will actually be able to hit my ult though. Okay, no E on Akali, that's pretty high value. And that's kind of what you're looking for, right? Right there, I don't hit the Baron and just stand still. I try to make sure the enemies can't walk in for free. The reason Akali died there is because of me. Because I stood there and charged my hook and I hit the very good hook, chunking her down and then she could choose either go out and lose half HP or stay and, um, well, die. Right? We would, we would just get the Baron regardless, so... If Akali can't go in there, Rek'Sai has no one in front of her. Rek'Sai can't, can't not do anything better than Akali right there in terms of walking in. This is a little greedy. We're 3v3 here. I would not go for this. This is very bad. We have a bunch of gold too. So we just got the Baron. Not very good time to see. Just gonna ping them back. That's a play that happens a ton in low ranks. Okay, these are the plays that you have to think about. That was, that was, that could have been a huge throw, right? If the Samira doesn't back there and she dies, 700 gold shot down. We can't use our Baron. Very, very important call to do there. And as support, you can pay a little bit more attention to that kind of stuff because you're not focusing on CSing. You're just warding. Once you get, once you get comfortable with warding, like like I'm comfortable, uh, then you know, you you can focus on all the other things. And right there, I knew we were gonna potentially do Drake. We we're gonna have pressure, so deep vision is a lot more valuable than if we don't have pressure. We're gonna actually spot people that are trying to rotate. 
That was a pretty bad hook. But she was pretty fast, so I don't take blame. I don't care. Missing hook is okay. Just gonna go for the kill here and go out for a while. No, ex no escape, so I gotta play very carefully here. Get in range. Wow. Oh, they're dodging better than, than what I'm used to. But that was still really, really good. And we should be able to end the game here. Just looking for another extra kill. Which is completely unnecessary and really throw. And we might actually not be able to end because of me. But it was fun. And you see, that's kind of what you're looking for in Pike. Impact the map. Decide on the matchup what you want to build. And really important, use your W as a gap closer and your E as an escape instead of the E as a gap closer and then having no escape. It's really important, otherwise you just end up dying a bunch. Play around your teammates and make sure you have good vision control. Hope you enjoyed this and good luck. See you in the next week. Bye bye. And remember, this guide comes from our website skillcap.com where we have over 500 smurf commentaries by the top players and coaches teaching you exactly how to escape the rank that you're stuck in. Not only that, but we release 14 brand new smurf commentaries with cutting edge builds and meta champions every single week. And if that wasn't enough, we have a site exclusive feature where you can ask the challenger expert any question you want, anything you're struggling with or confused about, and are guaranteed a response by them. All of this can be unlocked for as little as $5 a month and is backed by our rank improvement guarantee. That means a full refund if you don't improve. That's not all. You also get the most comprehensive League of Legends training on the internet with over 900 videos and 150 courses teaching you exactly what you need to know to improve. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below, head to skillcap.com and join the hundreds of thousands of satisfied skillcapped members and get that rank you've always wanted.